hey everyone okay so listen hopefully you guys can hear me clearly we are back outside again and listen let me tell you something i feel like a news anchor right now and we are back outside again okay so um y'all we had a really bad storm and it kind of loosened our poles so my husband has another idea um baby i'm going to give you a mic to put on okay um so that the people can hear you Okay, baby, so tell them. My mic sound nice, check, check one. one. My, my mic, mic sound nice, check two. My, my mic, mic sound nice, check three. Are you ready? <laughs> nah. Hey, All right, tell look, them, tell them, what we doing, what we doing. All right, so we did these uh, posts in the ground with the um, the post anchors. Yeah, you can point you know, out. And the, the great things right there. Uh-huh. I don't know if you can see my pinky finger. They can see or it. Or hear me on the mic. Yeah, so we did that because we wanted to be temporary. So that's why we didn't concrete it. Mm -hmm. So when we move from here, we'll be able to pull it up. And those spikes is like 30 inches. Um, so that's two and a half feet deep. Uh -huh. We had to oh, bam it in. It's on, two sir. and a half feet uh -huh. deep. Okay, so what, what happened is when the wind blowing so hard, it pulls this tarp up. You should have seen it last night. We should have recorded it. Yeah, we should have. So... Therefore, you know, it, it pulls the um, poles towards the center. Uh -huh. So I don't know if my wife can show you here. So we did an anchor onto the house and used the steel cable uh -huh. and on the opposite side of the poles to pull the poles um, back. But we're going to have it serving two purposes. So when we um, we did that for su extra support and we did that for... Um, when we put the string lights up. Uh-huh. So that can be a, a cable. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that we can hang the string lights on. Now, what we're going to do on the other side is we just, we're just we just going to run it from the fence posts. Uh-huh. You know, from the actual um, tarp posts to oh. one, of the, one of the fence posts. So one of the fence posts. And back we're going to run a cable. So we're going to also string the lights all the way back down there, too. And um, later on, what we're going to do, we're going to put um, like these teardrops um, hanging lights. I'll show them. Inside of the um, tree. Mm -hmm. So it can kind of like illuminate the tree area also. Yeah. So all right, my debut is wait, over. Wait, one second, baby. So explain to them what we're doing with the gate back here. Or what are, what is our idea? Because I know they can see that the gate is two different colors. Yeah, we, we probably continue on pressure washing. We pressure wash that over there. Um, so we probably continue on pressure. It's just time consuming. Yeah. So you'll probably see that in stages. Yeah. Okay. And then also because of the planters. The planters. So, yeah. Yeah. We have to cover up all of the planters that we posted. Yeah, because they're screwed to that fence. It's, it's yeah. not coming down until we it's move. It's not coming down until we move. Okay. All right. I'm so gone. I'm going to take your mic. Take my mic. Now I'm going to just shut this one off y'all my husband laughed at me he said uh i said i'm gonna give you a mic and when i said i'm gonna give him the mic i reached in my fanny pack yes i got a fanny pack for the outside okay but listen so you guys i put up my assignment i had to, oh he took the drill he took it. so my assignment oh no he didn't look okay so listen my assignment with the drill was to go around and hang the lights. So we had um, got, I don't know if they call LED lights. Now I'm gonna post everything down below or um, depending on what platform it is, you'll see options on what we got um, in reference to the pics. And you will also see um, on YouTube, you'll get a chance to see the exact links. Okay. So every single thing that we brought, I'll make sure that I post the tarp and so on and so forth. So let me give you guys a close up of the particular lights. So this right here is the lights that we brought and underneath you see there is the lights and you can change them. So you guys at night, they change to um, the color that you set it to. Right now we currently have them on a warm color. I like the warm color um, and you can change them to red. You can change them to blue. You can change them to 
green and I think it's one other color but that is the lights and they are solar lights so this solar panel right here is collecting all the good sun to get what it needs and yes so currently my husband is up there and he's already placed the one hook down there so he is about to pull it so let me show you guys what he's doing now baby what did you just do i put the hook up yeah so that's i put the hook up i put the hook up uh-huh um made the post the hook up you know um if you can go and pan the other one okay. you can see exactly what this one is going to look like okay so let me take you guys over here to show you exactly what my husband did so this right here is what he did um hopefully you can see but it has the metal um lining going all the way across so that's exactly what he's doing on this side but he's going to connect it to um to the gate in the back right about there and that's exactly what he's doing so um he's going to continue to string that and i will show you guys the rest okay so hey everybody okay so listen um our neighbors came outside and i don't want them to think that we're recording them so i had to like come sit over here um we have the mics that we have is um mics that uh kind of alter the sound all around us so what happens is i'm not sure if you guys can hear it but you know we want to make sure that we're mindful and respectful of every space and everybody in the spaces so um we made our way on over and um i sat down so that i can talk to you guys a little bit more about what we're doing back here so pretty much um what we're trying to do is to create a space where it's nice and comfortable as well as a space that has multiple areas and multiple functions now my husband i really wanted a furniture set to put out back um which is pretty much one of the sets that um it's like a sofa and a, a or a sectional but my husband was explaining because we're in the grass he's not sure he want to do that and we have seen a snake out here so with that being said we have to be mindful so right now we have the dining area on top of the patio um my husband had a number of ideas which one was to um, build a floating deck out here but the thing is is yet again we are renting we are currently renting so if we would have moved it would have been almost like we're building something and we don't know how long we want to stay um so that would be costly so you got to kind of like do your math and see what options are best based off of the cost and so based on our cost we were like mm, that'll be like almost like we're putting almost i think it was about baby how much was it if we did the floating deck run it how much would it been if we would have did the floating deck Okay, so my husband said it would have been like 600 something if we would have did the floating deck. I mean, the floating platform. So he said it would have been 600 something if we would have done that. So that's why we opted out of doing that. About eight. That's why we opted out of doing that. Baby, what would you say the total cost of this so far what we have done is? About 260 for what we've already done. So he was saying this option is way better so we're gonna do this we're gonna get some anironic chairs and our theme out back has been blue like blue and red but blues different tones of blues and reds but we don't know yet so it might change but i will show you guys when we get the anironic chairs but um we're gonna do that and my husband's gonna do a fire pit so you guys we have a lot going on baby do you need me come push to pull the pole okay so i gotta go okay y'all so i just had to go and pull the pole for him well push the pole so that he can get the length correctly so that the tension could be perfect so that it will straighten up the pole so um we just did that and i think that's pretty much about it for this particular segment but keep on watching because we have a lot more to do